Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, your hump day, <laughs> May 20th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 20th of May, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yes, ooh, ooh I, could use, I, could, I could use a shave, couldn't I? Oh my God, ew. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I totally just found a zit on camera, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Um, I had a really lovely night last night with two of my best friends, so that was that's helping. It's helping me feel much better today. Um, and also keep in mind, um, just a little sidebar. It seems like they're getting a little bit on the noisier side today across the street, so we might have to compete with that at some point. Um, but don't worry about it. It's usually not. It, I, honestly, I find that it's usually not that bad for you guys. It's worse for me because I'm sitting here in it, but the microphone doesn't always pick up as much as I think. So you guys should be fine, right? And if it gets too bad, just let me know. Um, and I, don't, I mean, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be able to do about it <laughs> if it does get too bad. But ultimately, um, I, I, that is such a tangent we don't even need to go into. Let's <laughs> let's just get into the energy reading for today. How about that? Um, I will say that I'm a, I am a little spacey today. Um, I'm feeling so. Okay, so yesterday was last night was a good day, but yesterday a uh, last night was a good night, but yesterday as a whole wasn't the best. Um, but then today on the other side of it. Um, I feel better, but I feel spacey. You know that 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 um the that like energetic space where like you you just had like a pretty extreme emotional reaction or something really crazy just happened or you know maybe it could have been something really good but it was just there was a lot of emotion involved and then you get out of it and you're just kind of like almost in this like delirious state that's kind of where i am today so please bear with me if i'm going off on tangents or <laughs> i don't sound like all there today <laughs> i hope um i hope nothing really gets lost in translation but that that could be a thing today. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. Um, Spirit just said to me, yeah, take it easy. We're not going to try and do too much crazy stuff today. Yes, you had a pretty strong ordeal yesterday. I did. Yesterday was an interesting day. Let's talk about it for a little bit. Um, so what I was experiencing yesterday was uh, as you, uh, this, this moment, as you know, we're all going through like this purging situation right now. I mean, we're all constantly purging, right? <laughs> but lately the, the purge has been surrounding um, betrayal and all that. And so that's all working its way out. Um, but yesterday I slipped, uh, yesterday what I was trying to do, because I'm starting to get better, like I'm starting to, to reach um, a level where like I'm, I'm a little more okay than I, than I was like maybe say the previous day or something like that. Um, but I am noticing that it's happening very, very slowly, like in very small increments, right? And it's very similar to that emotional roller coaster I was talking about. That's really extreme. Um, one mo one minute you're up, the next minute you're down. And like I, I like I'm no like I said like in that the first time I'm no stranger to emotional roller coasters. You know, being empathic and all that. Okay, it's par for the course. It comes with the territory, but I would I mentioned that you know this roller coaster that we've been riding lately over the last two to three months has been one of the most extreme roller coasters I've experienced in my life. Um, I've ne I've never really experienced that stark contrast from feeling good and feeling okay to not feeling not being okay at all like normally it would take some time you know i would go through periods of being okay and i can i can roll with that for a while and then i'll slip back down and then i'm not okay for a while but then that you know it, it all evens back out but this time it's literally split second you know and so 
I've been noticing that through that, however, I am getting better and I'm, I'm, I'm noticing that it's getting a little bit easier to be enthusiastic. It's getting a little bit easier to get motivated to, you know, to get the energy to do something, to, to follow through with something, to, to want to, to want to do something. Right. But, um, but then it slips away very easily. So yesterday, what I was trying to do was say, you know what, no matter what happens, no matter what comes up today, I'm going to do my best to stay optimistic, stay positive, you know, stay, tr think about the things that make me ha or that are feel good and make me happy and everything. And it's almost as if the universe took that as a moment to challenge me. And I went out and I was getting things. Um, I went to like the grocery store and all that. And I ended up having to walk all over Brooklyn because I was looking, or at least all over my neighborhood because I was looking for something specific that I ultimately couldn't find. But with every shop, with every store that I went to, a love song was on. And it's not even like, oh, you know, I came in 555. Five, five. I came in in the middle of the love song. No, 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 no. You guys, literally every store I went into at that moment yesterday during that time period, a new love song was starting. And each time, it was just, it was like push, it was just like twisting the knife each and every time, right? And so then when I got home, one of my roommates was singing um, that song, um, I, I Can't Help Falling In Love With You, that one that was redone, I think remade by the, the, the people who, or the, the group that sings Red Red Wine, um, anyway. Uh, sings red wine, whatever, it doesn't matter. But when I got home and my roommate was singing that, it was like, are you kidding me? Enough is enough. Like, stop following me around. But then it turned, I mean, it, 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 it's, I spiraled a little bit because I was trying so hard to maintain this sense of happiness and fulfillment and just, and I don't, I don't want to think about love. I don't want to think about relationships. I don't want to think about opening up my, opening myself up. And that's part of what was helping me spiral yesterday was the, the the stark awareness of how closed off I am right now. And it's like spirit just kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me and I snapped a little bit. It was bad. Um, thankfully though, I had that moment, I had two of my best friends coming over. So like that diffused a lot of it and we had a really great night last night, but yesterday was hard, you guys. And so today I'm just kind of like, Ugh. Um, I'm not even really, I'm just, I just kind of want to take it easy today because that was so extreme, but Ooh. yeah, care for yourselves, guys. Take the time that you need. So I don't know what's going on in your y'all's life, but I am noticing though that it's getting better. Things are getting better. I'm, 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 I'm getting through this. I'm feeling better, but the hardest thing that I'm having to deal with right now is the fact that I am so mad at myself forgiving myself is in fact the hardest thing that i'm dealing with right now and somebody mentioned that in the comments a few days ago or was it yesterday or something and as soon as i read that i was like yep that is exactly what i'm dealing with right now like i could sit here and say oh x y and z or this this so and so did x y and z to me blah 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 but ultimately i mean i could sit here and look at and 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 say to myself and and whine and cry about how much of a victim I've, I've been, how victimized I am, blah, blah, blah. But that's like, that's pointless, right? Um, but the one thing that I'm having the hardest time with is forgiving myself for even being in those places, even putting myself in the position to get hurt like that or to be betrayed, backstabbed. But here's the thing, nobody goes, nobody really goes into a situation expecting to be betrayed unless you've come to the point where it's like you, I mean, that's all you know. So that's all you can really expect, right? That's one of the hardest things for me too. It's like part of what's so hard for me about even wanting to open up, being able, even in a position to open up to someone is the fact that I don't want to get hurt again. And this is all natural this is all just a natural progression of dealing with the trauma and the pain and the negativity and so also something that i'm trying to focus on right now is instead of focusing on victim victimization or focusing on what happened to me 
it's very much like I've been seeing in like, and I'm sure you guys have seen it many, many times in memes and whatnot. It's like, okay, this, what, this didn't happen to me. This happened for me. So what is this trying to teach me? But that also is a hard, hard lesson to wrap my head around because I, one of the, one of the, the one of the one things that I'm having very, very much trouble with is why does it have to be like this? Why did it have to be so extreme? Why did it have to be, why did I have to be pushed so hard into this? I don't understand why. Okay, so I'm learning, to, I'm, I'm learning to love myself or I'm learning about love. I'm learning to be loving and compassionate and caring and all that. But why did I have to be pushed so hard into certain situations and certain, yeah, situations that only, in essence, made things worse, right? But then also what I'm coming to terms with is understanding that, well, to a certain extent, things had to get worse before they could get better. And what I'm starting to piece together here is that I had to be pushed to these extreme levels to really get it into my head that I had to start focusing on myself and my well-being and my happiness and my future and my life for myself and not do it for other people. Um, Cause I'm, I'm, I'm that type of person that always gives people the benefit of the doubt, no matter what. Ooh, I, I literally just missed 11, 11 by one second. When I just looked at the clock, it was 11, 12 <laughs> or the, the counter on the thing. Um, anyway, so shit, I lost my plate, my train of thought, but um, yeah, dealing with the, bet with the betrayal and recognizing that yeah i am that type of person that would always give someone the benefit of the doubt and it would always work out in their favor but it would always come back to bite me in the ass somehow because they got away with something and i was sitting here with the pain sitting with the the, the, the you know the trauma i guess you want to call it so now i'm in this place where it's like you know what i'm not opening up for anything or anyone and that's not necessarily the best way to go about it but right now it is in fact necessary so it's okay so yeah we're getting better i'm i'm pushing through it i'm i'm going out i'm going up there but i'm working on it i'm trying but this is really a process this really is a process and we have i mean we have the perfect opportunity for it right now in this time period and I was just talking to a friend of mine about this yesterday, but we, um, we don't have the distractions that we normally had in the past that would keep us from facing all of these things, that would keep us from um, leaving this comfort zone that we are so snuggled into, right? Yikes. Okay. So that's, that's where I am. I hope you guys are doing better. I hope you guys are feeling well. But, um... With all of that said, 12 minutes in and 13 minutes in, and we haven't even gotten to any cards yet. Let's do it, though. Let's see what we've got for today. What do you guys want to talk about? Let's get into it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, our hump day, <laughs> May 20th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. We're, you know what? There was a choice. There was an option between three and five shuffles. I'm going to take five shuffles today. And let's get, let, let's get some really good shuffling in and see what we've got. Yeah, so that was one. Oh, by the way, I love you guys. I don't know why I just wanted to say that right now, but I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Yeah, two. Thank you for going through this with me. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> Thank you for being my therapy session. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, shit. Three? Oh, no. Spirit just said that's four. Okay. Whatever. Let's give it one more shuffle. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, fine. This is five. All right. I probably lost count. 
they saying yet that I didn't. Okay, well, you guys can confirm that. I don't really care. The cards are ready. Let's do this. So what do we want to talk about today? What are we talking about today, Spirit? Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. Okay. We're going to start here. Ooh. Ooh. All right, cool. Ace of Pentacles with... The Eight of Pentacles. Yes. We are working very hard towards this new beginning, aren't we, guys? Aren't we? Yes, we are. Look, there is a there is a level of diligence here that um, and consistency that it, part of me wants to say that um, I haven't seen in a long time or maybe hasn't been expressed in a long time. Um... It, or let's say there's a level of diligence here consistency and uh, craftsmanship that um, at least deserves to be recognized uh, because I really do feel like oh geez oh. okay but here's why here's why I was guided to look at I'm not done pulling cards but I'm guided to look at the bottom of the deck so far and we have the lovers here okay um, but this is why because I really feel like this is there's a choice that has been made. We've been talking about this for two weeks now. Um, but uh, there is a level of understanding or maybe even a level of realizing that what it is you're working for is actually what you really want now. Like, and I can see, I can totally see that with what I'm experiencing here. Um, I'm not doing this for anyone else but myself at this point. And so... Part of the energy that I, or the, the, the mind space that I came into today was the understanding of this. And part of the dialogue I was having yesterday with spirit and my higher self was, look, we understand something they were saying to me quite, quite consistently was, we see your pain. We understand how much you're hurting. We understand how upset you are. Like, and, and I can be pretty nasty and... <laughs> Um, dramatic um, but I can I can get really mean um, and when I'm upset when I, especially when I'm hurt and um, there was a lot that I was I was kind of like snapping at spirit and pushing them away and they just kept coming back and they kept saying to me Eric please we're trying to help you I'm, I might start crying because <laughs> but um, um, one of the things that my higher self was saying to me yesterday was, look, we understand how upset you are. Like, there's no reason to be mad at yourself for being so upset. This is natural. But you need to understand that the more destructive you are, it's really only going to... It's only going to make you suffer more. And that was a tough pill to swallow because I can get very destructive also when I'm... Especially when I'm upset. And there was a level of destructive energy that was that was rising up within me that I hadn't felt in a very long time yesterday. It was a little concerning, but then also in retrospect, I understand it's all part of the, it's all part of the cleaning process. Like I'm getting, I'm to me, it's saying that I'm getting deeper into things, which is a good, it ultimately is a good thing here. Okay. But the work, so, so the message for me yesterday and something that really, it really sunk in this morning, but the work that you, oh, I'm sorry. The message for me was don't, the more destructive you are, it's only going to make you suffer more. And so then when I woke up this morning and I was, and I, I had already been moving into this space of consciously trying to focus on feeling better and being happy, I recognized that the work I'm doing right here for myself or the work that I'm trying to do the, and all the excavation that I'm doing is really for no one else but myself. So yes, I'm mad at, sure, I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at spirit. I'm mad at the universe. I'm mad at people that took advantage of me. I'm mad at people that, 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 that made fun of me for being so effeminate or made fun of me of being, for being so, so, so sensitive or what all, I'm, I'm mad about all of it. And then I'm also mad about everything else that everybody else is going through. It's like, why are we all being tortured here? But if I want to feel better, I need to take matters into my own hands. And it's not for the sake of spirit. It's not for the sake of anyone else around me. It's for my own sake, to be happy, to do what it is I love to do, 
to appreciate the life that I have. So here, what, we're, what I'm picking up with this Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles energy, there is a level of consistency and determination because you're finally choosing your own self here, the lovers. This is for no one else but you. Whatever it is you are working so diligently to create is for no one else but you. And ultimately, it needs to be that way. And it is okay for it to be that way. Because really, when you think about it, it is going to, whatever you're creating is going to be a, be able to be of service or beneficial for someone out there. All right? Like, especially, I mean, facts are facts, you know. Ultimately, it, people are going to be able to benefit. It's going to be something that people will, whatever. Okay, it could be. But, but, but you're doing this for you. And that's your driving force. And that's... That is beautiful. There is nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that, okay? Let's see what else we got for today. Yeah, look at that. The Knight of Wands. Passion, excitement, uh, exuberance, but determination. Determination is a strong is a strong element coming through with this right now. Eight of Wands. Wow. Moving quickly. Clear and open space. I'm seeing... I'm seeing the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles as like a self-perpetuating system of uh, energy in which the more work you do, the more space is clear, the more momentum you, you generate, the faster you can move, the less obstacles are in your way. But again, this is not doing this work or even really being or to in order to be um, to clear the path or... I, I, uh, these these what I'm trying to say is these two energies the eight of pentacle and the eight of spring are somewhat independent of each other and the momentum that is generated through this work that you're doing only strengthens this eight of wands energy okay let's get a little bit more here Ooh. all right we're gonna stop there at the bottom of the deck is the sun. Yes. <laughs> yes, you guys. Can you hear that banging? Yeah, it's registering a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, um, we have the sun at the bottom of the deck. We have balance, which is the temperance card. Yes, the queen of cups, the king of summer, and strength. I'm so, I'm sorry. The queen of cups, the king of swords. So the queen of summer, the king of winter, or the queen of cups, the queen, the king of swords, and strength. I mean, yes. This right here, all of this right here. Queen of Cups, King of Swords. So you're compassionate, or at least your emotion, you're aware of your emotions, okay? Maybe you are compassionate. Maybe you are. Maybe, but, but ultimately, with this Queen of Cups energy, I feel like you're taking your emotions, your emotional reality, and your mo emotional well-being very seriously. And I'm also kind of seeing this King of Swords energy as a little bit of a defense mechanism. Protector protecting yourself, doing what it is you need to do, okay? And then there's also this energy of understanding your emotions, your emotional reality, keeping that in check, and then taking action in terms of whatever it is your emotions are dictating or saying or guiding you towards. I don't want to say dictating, or guiding you towards, all right? But you have this with temperance and strength, alchemy, balance, harmony, patience even with strength, having the strength to move forward. And the sun is at the bottom of the deck. I mean, guys, this is some beautiful ass energy here. <laughs> okay, let, let, I'm just, let's just call it spade a spade here. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. So this Queen of Cups energy, she's compassionate. Don't get me wrong. But she's not trying to really associate with anyone. I really feel like she's trying to keep to herself right now. Do, it, it's not that you've lost any sort of compassion. It's not that you've lost any sort of warmth. However, I just feel like with this Queen of Cups energy, don't try to get too close to her. Um, don't try to cozy up to her. She's very, very, very hyper, super aware right now of anyone trying to come into her space to take advantage, potentially. King of Swords, okay?
that song, How Did You Get Here? What is her name? I can't remember the... Deborah, is that Deborah Cox? How did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. You know that song? That's kind of playing right now. So, okay, so, so uh, that song comes to mind when I'm thinking about this Queen of Cups energy. And also keep in mind, we're not talking about gender here, all right? This is obviously a balance between masculine and feminine energy. So this really could be anybody. And I'm feeling like this is a one, this is one person, all right? This is the subject of this reading. Um, so you could be a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. It's really just about the energy here. And um, so this could be a time that you're taking right now to really balance yourself out. To, to, to build up your strength. But it's not even, see, what I'm seeing, what I'm perceiving with strength is it's not even that you're trying to necessarily build this up. You're being strong. You're absolutely being strong and facing things head on. That's what's coming through with this King of Swords energy here. There is an element of facing your emotions, yes, and protecting yourself, but there's also a level of seeing things as clearly, clearly as they truly are. And sometimes that's extremely exhausting because you have to in seeing things from what they true for for what they really are you have to allow yourself to let go of the illusion of whatever it is you built it up to be or whatever it is you wanted it to be or maybe even whatever it is the person that was or the the experience or situation group of people whatever that you're moving forward from releasing yourself from the illusion of what they wanted that to be right and there's going to be some things that you're going to have to admit to yourself. And that can be extremely exhausting. But you're being strong here. You have a lot of strength within you. You actually may be becoming very aware of how strong you actually are. How strong you've become. That was actually something that one of that Natalie, one of my best friends said to me um, in moving to Puerto Rico, she mentioned, she was like, you know, you're, you're moving away to do more of what you love. And that just shows your strength. And it's amazing. And that actually, that hit me in a way that I didn't, I didn't really expect, like, I didn't expect her to say something like that, but also I didn't expect that to hit me the way it did. I was like, Wow, I actually never thought of it that way. I just saw it as the next chapter in my life and I'm lucky enough to 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 go to Puerto Rico or somewhere like Puerto Rico to 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 live it out, but that was that got me in the feels. <laughs> that hit me right 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 there right in that soft spot, you know. So that could be something that you're starting to realize right now just actually just how strong you are just how emotionally strong you are too that is a big one that is a very big one and actually there may be some sort of recognition from a masculine and i don't know where this is coming from but all of a sudden i just got um insight that there could be a masculine individual whether it's a man or a woman it doesn't matter someone that's more masculinely oriented meaning at least in this time frame in human history meaning that they're probably not very well versed in emotions. They probably don't understand emotions. They probably try and like hide away from them, push them to the side. Like I'm not even trying to fuck with that, like that kind of energy, but they may be coming up to you or recognizing within you, your strength. And they may even be saying it to you there. I feel like there's for someone out there, there's, there's some sort of recognition of just how strong you are, just how strong you've needed to be. It could even be a situation where someone is starting to recognize your struggle, the struggle that you've been in, been going through maybe even your whole life, something that they never understood up until this moment. I'm not, I'm not picking up on what it is that's, that's flipping the switch for them, turning the light on for them here, but someone is, I feel like there are some, maybe there's a group of people, but I feel like somebody is starting to recognize the struggles of another person and potentially like what, starting to see exactly what they've been going through their whole lives, but just um, what this person has gone through all their whole life. And they may have 
brushed it off and be like, oh, come on, just get over it. But now they're starting to see it and there's some sort of recognition that could happen. And this actually could even be something that's internal. This doesn't have to be someone external to you recognizing this. This could be within your own self. Okay. That's really beautiful, you guys. Um, I don't want to make this too, too long. So I want to go to some clarification. And, and to be honest, there isn't, isn't really anything specific that I want to clarify here. So what I want to do is I just want to get a closing message from Spirit here in terms of this situation for you. And then we'll get our Oracle guidance, yeah? Last shuffle. All right, Spirit. So what closing message do you have for us here? In terms of all of this okay well there's the knight of wands again this is a good thing i really kind of feel like spirit is congratulating us um and i something that's coming through a message that they are they are trying to give to all of us to kind of they're saying to ease our our ego minds a little bit or to ease our egos a little bit it doesn't matter what you do or how you get into your the space that you need to be in. It doesn't matter how much you rant and rave. It doesn't matter how much you cuss spirit out. It <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't matter how destructive you get unless you're so destructive that you're now destroying what you've built, like literally destroying, pulling it apart. But you know what I mean? Like there's nothing, we do not judge you for the process of getting into where you need to be or where you're trying to be. We are not we are not judging you for that here. The only individual that is going to judge you for that is your own self. Keep that in mind. So, whatever your process is, honey, to get where to 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 do your healing or to get your energy right, get your mind right, get your vibe right, whatever, by all means, go through that process. We will always be standing here by your side to help you. That's a direct message from spirit. They really really that that's something they really wanted me to tell you to tell all of us actually that's probably a message for me too <laughs> oh man this whole self-awareness thing is a real doozy isn't it guys <laughs> okay closing message here please spirit oof all right well shit the five of swords the king of cups temperance Done. Okay. Overall energy is the nine of cups. Okay. All right. Well, that's, that's nice. What else do we have here? We have the five of swords with the king of cups and temperance. So there is, um, <laughs> spirit, you are funny. They're confirming what I just said. Five of swords to the king of cups and temperance. And the five of swords is a very much by any means necessary energy. We're going to get this done no matter what it takes. What is this? Emotional maturity, the king of cups, emotional responsibility, love, happiness, an open heart, willing to express yourself, willing to be in love, willing to share and spread love, willing to, or whatever emotional responsibility looks like for you. Those are, I stopped because I was saying I was, I re recognized that I was listing all the things that resonate for me in that. But however this looks for you, ultimately, this is emotional maturity, the glow up, the grow up even, right? What else do we have here? Oh, look at that. <gasps> Shut up. The queen of cups with empress, with the empress. Oh my God, spirit. What are you, what are you, what are you getting at here? But look, balance between masculine and feminine energy, harmony abundance uh the empress is giving me energies of birthing too okay so ooh, look at that the process of giving birth <laughs> five of swords with the empress um this definitely is not a lose-lose situation here but by any means necessary we are going to deliver this baby it's kind of <laughs> And this baby is your new life, Ace of Pentacles, whatever it is you're working on. You're working so hard to build and develop for yourself. Okay. That's beautiful. You have the balance between masculine and feminine energy within. 
by any means necessary, we are going to get this done. But you are loved unconditionally throughout the whole process. There you go. Spirit just confirmed that. I love this. Okay, so let's close out our reading here. I'm going to stick with the Gaia Oracle list today. I might just do this all week. Seems about right. And let's see what our closing message is for today. Last shuffle. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Card number 24, eternal love, happiness, harmony, and fulfillment. Beautiful. Okay, <clears throat> this card says, something is resolved soon. <clears throat> a new page is turned as a concern you have dissolves and gives way to a period of sunshine. A time to relax and enjoy life, free of the worry and doubt that, has, that have cast a gray shadow over your life for the past few weeks. During the coming month or so, try to spend some time in nature. Allow yourself to reconnect with Gaia's nurturing and healing power. Immerse and surround yourself in her natural beauty, for she will help you restore your balance, harmonize your energy centers, and replenish your body, mind, and spirit. It may be difficult for you to switch off at first, but after a few days, as your thoughts slow down, you will settle into a new and more relaxed rhythm. Make the most of this opportunity while you can. Beautiful. Affirmation for the day. I am physically and emotionally connected to the healing power of Mother Earth. I surround myself with her beauty and feel a deep sense of peace. I am free of worry. Each day I grow stronger and more relaxed. My life is in perfect balance. One more again, yes? <laughs> I am physically and emotionally connected to the healing power of Mother Earth. I surround myself with her beauty and feel a deep sense of peace. I am free of worry. Each day I grow stronger and more relaxed. My life is in perfect balance. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. And I love you guys so very much. Ow. <laughs> Bye.